Mary Sterling, firstly, thank you for your consistent wisdom and value you are sharing for to help men like me improve in one of the main areas that many of us suffer from. I am an entrepreneur, have a good small business going well for me and my for me, and naturally, I am a confident man when I communicate with anyone. Because of how I conduct myself and how well I am doing, women do come into my life. However, the thing that builds massive anxiety for me and a lot of stress in my manhood isn't typically the biggest. When erect, it is just over five inches and this genu generally creates great worry for me when I'm about to do something with a woman with like, what will she think when she takes my boxers off, etc. Performance wise, I have not been the best lately either and commonly will ejaculate quite quickly. And of course this does damage the chances I have with some women. I'm 27 years old. I am making the necessary changes to become as healthy and as fit as possible to improve what is going on down there. I do masturbate quite frequently, sometimes once a day or twice a day, and then have moments where I try to go no fap and see if it makes a difference, but ultimately relapse. I definitely believe it is major psychological things that are affecting me, and it does knock the confidence out of me as I am a confident in every other area of my life, but this has been daunting struggles for a while has got to the point where I tend to avoid doing anything with a woman as I don't want to embarrass myself anymore in this department. I just want to feel like a real man and achieve something that will boost my confidence and please a woman without the stress or anxiety or worry of my size and embrace everything and become a better version of myself. I am just keen to know your thoughts and wisdom with what perhaps you would suggest to do what I do moving forward. Thank you again, Sterling, and I'm looking forward to trying the supplements once they arrive. So this is a you've put yourself into a self-fulfilling prophecy here my friend where you're creating anxiety around your penis size which you don't need to have you're creating anxiety then but you're letting that create anxiety around performing and prematurely ejaculating and so it's and it's and you're letting those two things dictate your your perceived self-image which is then which is then feeding back into all these performance issues in the first place so it's a you're, you've created a self-fulfilling prophecy for yourself a negative self-fulfilling prophecy um so first of all, like, like there are a million and one ways to rock a woman's world in the bedroom, and none of them have to do with your dick. Like, your dick is one way. Like, there's a bunch of other things you can do which will get women off and give give them a truly unique sexual experience and a mind blowing sexual experience. Dirty talk being one of the easiest ones. Like, what literally, like, you can mentally hack a woman's brain during sex and give her orgasms very easily through that. Uh, being more dominant, leading, controlling, maybe dabbling a little bit into like things like, you might find, you, you you might develop a lot of confidence by through dabbling in things like BDSM and learning a bit of shibari rope bombing, for example, right? Because it's little things like that. Like, no, if you're the guy who, if you're, let's say you're self-conscious about the size of your penis, but if you're the guy who can come in and give her her first ever bondage experience, just by learning a couple of rope knots, not even that complicated. Most women have never had this, by the way. And most women fucking love it. And most women fantasize about it. Something as simple as just tying her hands together. Something simple as that, right? Or doing like a, a corset bondage of some kind, right? If you're the first guy who can come in and ever give a woman an experience, that is going to do wonders for your sexual confidence because you're that guy now. You, are, you have just stood out in a woman's mind. So I would suggest uh, learning some new sexual skills to boost that sexual confidence so you so you yourself can truly believe that you can rock a woman's world like that right because you kind of need to give yourself uh, as men we need some some uh, evidence of of we need we need we need reaffirm our beliefs through, through evidence right so learning extra skills like that in the bed learning a bit more about dirty talk i would suggest you take you take serious uh, put serious thought into that with the performance anxiety stuff, this all ties into it. Uh, sorry, premature ejaculation, you said. Sorry, premature ejaculation. That ties into this as well, because um, it's caused by anxiety and caused by nerves. So once you, if, you if you get rid of this nervous, self-conscious energy to start with, the premature ejaculation is going to disappear. Nine times out of ten, that ain't going to be a problem anymore. Uh, so I, I personally think you just need to work on, like... First of all, your perception is, is like, I'm here to tell you that your assessment is wrong. Your assessment of yourself is incorrect. Like, there's nothing wrong with your dick. There's nothing wrong, wrong with the way you interact with women. There's nothing wrong with the way women perceive you. We're not going to sit there and judge you the moment you take your pants off. This is false. And this is coming from a guy who literally took his pants off in front of a room full of people for a fucking living. I can guarantee you that you're wrong. 
So, and then second of all, you need to come in and I, I would suggest you to supplement that and to add confidence on top of what you have right now is to learn some additional sexual skills so you can rock a woman's world in the bedroom.